Welcome back everybody to another awesome video of Cam's Resto Cars. Today, I'm only going to be using this one tool that I know of. And uh, I will be removing these seats from this 1987 Toyota pickup. So, let's get started. First things first, you gotta loosen all these bolts. There's four, I believe, one, two. There's one right there, and then there's another on the other side. And we've got this other seat. And then this is pretty easy. This, uh, the, the center console, just take that off and yeah, but that's a whole nother story. So I'm gonna get started on loosening these. Um, I'm gonna need two hands for this. So uh, I'm gonna put you guys down for a second. All right, guys, I got the uh, first seat loosened up. Uh, also, just a heads up, if you ever work on one of these and you need to get to this one, uh, and the seat is moved forward. Uh, just move it all the way back, which is what I did here. Worked great. So, uh, just gotta take all those out. Might have to move the seat forward again, just so I can get to the back bolts, because it moved back farther than I anticipated. Which I'll do that now. It moves forward a lot easier now. Um, you might have to... Nope, needs to be moved forward a little bit more. Oh. These seats are really light too. They're a lot lighter than I thought. And uh, the upholster gal that I'm using, she is going to be uh, doing them for 250 a piece. And you guys can't see what they look like until they're done. So that's, uh, yeah. So I don't think this seat wants to move forward anymore. I don't know why. I'll uh, put you guys down, see if I can fix that real quick. Okay, got the seat moved forward. Ah, that took a while. But, I just gotta unscrew these bolts here. Um, there's two. I gotta get these back ones, which might be a little tricky. Oh, and you can move the seat forward, which is nice. Or the seat back forward. There's the other bolt down there. This car is a bit of a mess, or sorry, truck. Bit of a mess, as you can see. This thing probably needs to be reupholstered as well. I don't know if that'll slide out, but uh, maybe I can take that to get reupholstered too. So just four bolts from this seat. Should just, oh yeah, lift right out of there. That gives me room to uh, clean all of this out with like a vacuum and some sprays and everything. Maybe get some new floor mats. I don't know, but it really needs to be cleaned, so. I'll be doing that after I get these seats and other junk out. So uh, let's uh, get this one out of here and move on to the next one. Alrighty, there's that seat. And you can see how dirty it was underneath there. Lot of junk. Stuff I don't really want to uh, touch at the moment. Like, there's a gummy worm. There's a penny. Which, ooh, I'll grab that because that's change. Spare change for myself. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna put those, keep those four, bo bleh, four bolts in there at the moment. This, I'm not entirely sure how that comes undone. Pretty sure I gotta take these off, those two, those screws and everything, which this is just a huge mess. I don't even want to know what happened with that, but uh, I'm gonna get to moving on this seat, clear all the junk off of it, and, uh, See what I can do back here. I might be able to do something with this. I think you unscrew these things and it just pops right out like that. They're just like little uh, rivets, I guess, plastic rivets or whatever. They're these things. I'll take those out and put them over here and then take this junk off, move it down, blah, blah, blah. Go organize stuff. So yeah, this seat can be reupholstered now. I'm gonna go to the other side Start working on that. All right, you guys. Got these ones all done. Reach back there with my hand, so you... Oh, that one popped out already. There's three. Need one more. Oh, good grief. There it is. There's four. Four of those. This one should pop right off. If I can get my stuff out of the way, I'll uh, get it out here. Alrighty, there it is. Seat number two, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Also found this. Don't know what that's for. Can't tell what it says, but I hope it doesn't go to anything back here, because that would be 
I think that does indeed come out. Question is, is it just like set on top of there? Is it? Oh, I wonder what this is. That looks important. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. Never seen that before. Might have something to do with the the winch under here. Oh yeah, it probably does. Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to uh, well, may or may not leave that in here. I have no idea. But for now, it's just the seats, and I gotta get ugh this thing off. So let me start working on that. First things first, you're going to want to take this screw right here that's attached to this arm, take that off, and then you're going to take these two hinge screws off. It should just pop right off of there. So I've already loosened it. You just don't want to lose the screw because then you'd be in big trouble. Yeah, there it is. And uh, I guess that's okay in there since that's the... Uh, the glove compartment anyways then you're gonna to want to take those two screws out down here like so they're not very big so it won't take much to come out or pop out of there yeah, there it is these ones are slightly longer than the uh, the little arm screw so I'll just keep them in the glove compartment for now or the center console compartment for now since that seems to be the safest spot. And uh, see if I can remove this. Oh wow, there it goes. Okay, there's the other one. Which is actually not as long as the one that came out of there, which is interesting. But So yeah, there it is. Just don't lift this up because then your screws are going to go, woo, disappear. So uh, there's that. Got the two seats out. Still debating whether or not to take this. I know this can be probably reupholstered, but for now I'm gonna leave it in. Uh, see what I decide to do in the future. Uh, so my plan with this is turn it into a $10,000 truck. That's essentially what I'm going to try and do, which might require to get a new, some new bed liner. I don't know. Just tell me, guys. To, yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments. But uh, what I really like about this truck is the headliner. It is like brand spanking new looking. It looks really good. But uh, anyways, enough about the truck. Got the seats out. That's what I uh, care about. And also, tell me what the heck this hook is. I have no idea. Uh, it might go with the, like the, the. Whatever that thing's called, the lift up the car to jack. The jack. So, hopefully in the next video, these will be done. And I'm still working on painting some of these. <clears throat> I know I haven't posted videos in a while. Just haven't been able to get to it. But I'm still working on painting parts for the engine. Um, things are kind of slow because I'm waiting on some parts that I have ordered. But they're kind of going to be here in like... Two or three weeks, maybe four, because you know shipping is crazy right now. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm gonna put these little knobs back in here that holds this thing down, just because not taking it out at the moment. <clears throat> and uh, so yeah, I was thinking maybe replacing the speakers, but if they work fine, there's no need to replace them. Just really, all I care about is the seats at the moment. So. There's seat number one, seat number two is over there. Get these reupholstered, cleaned up, they'll look really nice. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, be sure to, sub to subscribe to my channel. Um, put a thumbs up on this video or, or any of the videos that you've watched if you like them. And uh, be sure to leave a comment below, and I'll catch you guys later.